Live free or die. Obamacare in New Hampshire. Rochester, New Hampshire, home to 63-year-old grandmother, Margaret McCarthy. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a political activist. I'm just an ordinary person that would like to have affordable insurance coverage that would allow me to continue to see the doctors that I know and trust. Mrs. McCarthy is a retired bookkeeper who for years has purchased her own health insurance policy. Right now I pay um, approximately $7,000 a year in premium and a $2,500 deductible. Margaret, come on in. Like millions of Americans, Mrs. McCarthy has discovered that after Obamacare, if she wants to keep an equivalent insurance policy, she's going to have to pay a lot more. An extra $3,000 a year in premiums and a deductible of $3,000, a more than 30% increase. That's partly because the health reform law requires insurers to provide more features and to cover everyone, no matter how high risk. And that costs money. Just gonna get your temperature. Margaret, who has a chronic intestinal condition, gets her care at the nearby Frisbee Medical Facility. It's convenient. It's three, four miles away. I have such a high level of trust for these doctors and this facility. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning, Dr. Geller. I've been seeing these doctors for the past 15 years. We've built up a relationship. We have a rapport. But that may soon change. Frisbee is one of the hospitals that has been excluded from the Obamacare Insurance Exchange under what's known as a narrow network plan, being implemented by the state's biggest insurance company, Anthem Blue Cross. Experts say this narrow network phenomenon is a consequence of Obamacare. Insurers facing the higher costs of covering more people squeeze money out of the system by dealing with fewer health care providers and paying them less. These doctors and hospitals, in turn, make up for the lost money with volume in the form of new patients coming from those health care providers who have been excluded from the network. The fact that you have the inability of a consumer to go to the doctor that they might want to go to is a direct result of the standardized plans that are required to be offered as a result of the ACA. Tax attorney Chris Condolucci was present at the creation of Obamacare, working for the Senate Finance Committee, which drafted the legislation. That is translating into a narrow network and limited ability for consumers, policyholders, to get the medical care that they need. I'm not sure what my insurance situation is going to be. Mrs. McCarthy? may be priced out of her own hospital. I won't be able to come to Frisbee Hospital. I won't be able to see my internist. I won't be able to see my gynecologist. I won't be able to have the same surgeons that I've had in the past. I can't even get my lab work done here in Rochester. It's eliminated a third of the hospitals in the state of New Hampshire. Al Felgar, CEO of the Frisbee Hospital System, is all too aware of the narrow network. It's about 350,000 people in those service areas of those hospitals. That's, our state's only 1.3 million. You took out a billboard criticizing the Affordable Care Act. I mean, is this kind of activism a normal thing for you? No, hospital people are supposed to be conservative and mild-mannered and so forth. But this one, when I heard this rollout of this Obamacare, I was incensed. Angry enough that he petitioned the State Insurance Commission to hold a hearing on the matter. His co-petitioner, Margaret McCarthy. It doesn't seem fair that this new network was decided in secrecy and only made known to consumers a few short months ago. It doesn't make sense to me that I should have to drive past my local hospital and doctors to seek health care in another community. The hearing was held back in February in Concord, the state capital. The narrow network does not promote and protect the public because we, the public, are being denied access to our doctors. Why the people are really mad is they were promised by the President of the United States that they could keep their health care insurance and they were told that they can keep their hospital and doctor. And it has not happened. I felt validated that there were other people that 
said the same things that I've been thinking for months now. One of the reasons citizens were up in arms was that the new system wasn't supposed to work this way. You can keep your insurance if you like it. It will increase choices for families. It will promote competition. Jean Shaheen, the Democratic senator from New Hampshire, had echoed the president when it came to the promises of the Affordable Care Act. The one thing for the government to understand is don't tell me something is true and then I find that it's not. Rogers Johnson, a former Republican state lawmaker, has been a health care consultant for 32 years. Don't tell me it's affordable and it's not. Don't tell me that I can go to this hospital when I can't. When I know that what you're telling me is not true, I then question the individuals who made that offer. But in fact, this wasn't the first time Jean Shaheen waded into the waters of health care reform. In the mid-90s, then-State Senator Shaheen led a reform effort that created a sort of prototype for Obamacare. According to critics of Shaheen's plan, the results were devastating. The law drove up premiums and drove insurers out of the state. These same critics now claim the Affordable Care Act, we are done. which superseded state laws, has, if anything, made matters worse. Not only is there less competition so far, but the narrow networks are even narrower than expected. Prior to January 1, 2014, you had access to a nationwide network of all providers in hospitals. Based in Hampstead, New Hampshire, Tom Hart is president of the National Association of Health Underwriters. And he says the new Obamacare network doesn't cover out-of-state treatment, except for emergencies. And that's a big difference for someone who lives in New Hampshire because many people prefer to have access to Boston-based facilities or Massachusetts hospitals. Senator Shaheen, who's up for re-election, wouldn't talk to us. But when she speaks in public these days, she doesn't seem to want credit for Obamacare. I would have designed it differently if I had been designing it. Gotcha. Unfortunately, I wasn't the, the person who was writing the law. Hindsight is always 2020. Right. But while New Hampshire waits, Margaret McCarthy worries. I have to have blood work done every six months or so. This is savings that I'm spending. I'm having to draw down my retirement funds before I thought I'd have to so that I can pay these premiums until I qualify for Medicare. 